Hi, I'm Kaylee, and welcome to Sports Stacking with Speed Stacks. Today, we are going to master the cycle pattern and do double stacking. Helping me teach you will be world champion stacker, Emily Fox. Let's get started. Let's all stand up and get warmed up before we stack. So stand up in your spots, right where you are. We're gonna start off doing some jumping jacks just to get the blood flowing. So let's go. Make sure you're moving your arms and your legs, not just jumping in place. All right, a few more of these. All right, and stop. All right, now we're gonna do some calf raises. So I want you to just kind of have your feet shoulder width apart, and we're gonna just do a few calf raises. So you're going up on your toes, getting our calf muscles warmed up. All right, don't go too fast. All right, now we're gonna do some stretches on our legs, so I want you to be shoulder or uh, more than shoulder width apart and we're just going to lean to one side and you should feel that stretch down your leg. Okay, so let's hold it here for a few seconds. Feel a nice pull. All right, let's come back up and go to the other side. Again, feeling a stretch down your leg. Hold it there. All right, come back up. We're gonna put our feet together and we're just gonna try to touch our toes. And don't worry if you can't, just feel a nice stretch on your hamstring. All right, let's roll up. All right, now it's time to get our cups. Instructors, pause this video here and help each student get a set of speed stacks. Now that you have your cups, let's set them up in a 3-6-3 formation. So take three off the top, put it to one side, another three off to the other side, leaving your six in the middle, and make sure the cups are spread out enough so you have room to stack. All right, so we've already learned all parts of the cycle, so now we're gonna put it all together and do the entire cycle all the way through. So get your hands out and ready, and get ready to stack with Emily. Let's put that all together to do the full cycle stack, starting with your three cups. We're gonna go up, six, Three, back to the beginning, down, down. One hand, bring over to the three, two, one, up, up, down, stack, two sets of three, use those into full 12. One cup up, one cup down. Five, four, one, right, left, right, center, right, left, right, left, right. Right hand in, pick up both cups, both to the right, one in your left hand, all in your right, Finish in a three, six, three. That was a lot to remember. So let's have Emily show us that one more time. Let's put that all together to do the full cycle stack, starting with your three cups. We're gonna go up, six, three, back to the beginning, down, down. One hand, bring over to the three, two, one, up, up, down, stack, two sets of three, use those into full 12. One cup up, one cup down. Five, four, one, right, left, right, center, right, left, right, left, right. Right hand in, pick up both cups, both to the right, one in your left hand, all in your right, finish in a three, six, three. Hands up and off your cups. All right, your cups should look just like mine in a down stack three, six, three, right in front of you and spread out. And we're gonna take some time to practice the cycle some more, so go ahead.
Stop stacking, hands up. All right, leave your cups right where they are and just put your hands behind your back. All right, leave your hands back here. I'm gonna give you guys a few reminders about the cycle. First of all, remember that the pattern is three, six, three into a six, six into a one, ten, one, and it all ends back up in a three, six, three. Another one to remember is during the transition of three, six, three into six, six. So as soon as I finish down stacking my three, six, three, I can use one hand to down stack this last three. And then bringing it over here, I do not need to put it on top. I can just go right into my three, two, one method and just build up the six like that. And then also remember on the one, ten, one, remember the pattern is right, left, right, center. And then you've got your three, two, one again, right, left, right, left, right. All right. So using these tips, we're gonna practice the cycle some more. Instructors, pause this video now and walk around and help your students as needed. After about three more minutes, you can pause the video again to get more practice time if needed. Then just join me back here when you're ready to move on. All right, bring your hands out, get ready to stack and go ahead.
Stop stacking, hands up. All right, leave your cups right where they are and go ahead and stand up right in your spots. We're gonna do a few high knees just to get a little break. Ready, go. All right, get those knees up nice and high, as high as you can. Pump those arms. All right, and stop. Great job. Go ahead and have a seat right where your cups are. And I want you to get your cups back into a column of 12, just like mine. We are gonna move on to double stacking. So instructors, pause this video and assemble your class into pairs and assign one set of speed stacks to each pair. Then come back and join me when you're ready to move on. Now that you're sitting with your doubles partner and you have one set of speed stacks in front of you, I want you to set your cups up just like mine in a three, six, three right in front of you and spread them out so you have enough room to stack. All right, now take a few seconds and decide who's going to use their right hand and who's going to use their left hand. Now that you've decided, I want you to put your hands back up and hands behind your back. All right, keep your hands back here while Emily introduces doubles. Then you can bring your hands out and get ready to stack along with her. Hi guys, Emily here again. Now in this session, we're gonna learn another fun stack. It's called the double stack using a partner. Now I have my partner here today. This is Jacob. Hi. How you doing? Good. Good. Now, with doubles, one of us is going to be one hand, one is the other. What hand do you want to be? I'll be the left. The left hand? Okay. I'll be the right hand. So let's show you what it looks like. So we're going to slow it down, show you how to do it. I'm the right hand, Jacob's the left hand. So just as we learned how to do the cycle stack with one person, we're gonna do that with two people. So I'm the right hand, gonna stack up our three stack. Take three, two, one, stack up the six, three, back to the beginning, down, down, down. Now I can use one hand to bring over my three, six stack, six stack. We're gonna use these to take down, end in a one, ten, one. In a five, four, one method, alternating all the way up. And then we're gonna finish in a three, six, three. Now one thing I wanna point out with double stacking is each partner must handle each stack. So as we're stacking our cups, we're both touching each stack. The only exception is with the down stack of this last three. I can use one hand to bring this over and begin my six stack. Stop stacking, hands up. All right, put your hands behind your back. All right, we're gonna practice doubles some more. So instructors, take this time to walk around and help students as needed. After three more minutes, you can pause this video and get more practice time if needed, then join me back here when you're ready to move on. All right, bring your hands out and go ahead. <laughs>
Well, it's time to wrap up for today. Today we practiced the cycle and double stacking. I had a lot of fun today and I hope you did too. See you next time.